Hi you guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. I just went to Solid Core and the music was broken. It was not working. So we did the whole class from the instructor's phone and it just was a different vibe. I'm currently at Valor. Kyrie couldn't even get into the class, so she went to the Alpharetta location, but she's still meeting me at Valor. That's exciting. And then I have to make it a quick trip because we have um, Sutton's little friend Milo, my friend Gracie's daughter's second birthday today at 2.30. waiting outside of Valor for Kyrie to get here because she had like a 15 minute drive and I had a four minute drive, essentially. A quick little drive, so quick drive, so. Yeah, I'm just sitting and waiting. I'm going in. Back home, I just blow dried my hair. It's freezing today, so I need to like rethink my outfit for this birthday party. Kyrie got sent a birthday present, and it's the cutest. She's playing with it right now. I'll show you guys in a second. Um, I did my greens and everything, and now I feel like I could like heat these up again. Maybe I should put these back in for like a second in the toaster. look how cute and then she also got her bath bomb and then this puzzle which we're probably gonna open here soon and play with it but Sutton's been building flowers she's got them all over the ground but we were showing her how to build flowers literally so cute mm, thank you just got the best package to the door. It is always my fave when our Brooklyn and order gets in. I ordered some new sheets for our bed for spring and I'm so excited to be working with Brooklyn and on today's video and also share their sleep week sale with you guys because they are doing an incredible discount this week and I feel like there's no better time to refresh your bed than when a new season is coming and they have the cutest colors available for spring right now. We have been sleeping on Brooklyn and sheets for years now and it is the most comfy sleep of your life. It is so hard to get out of the bed in the morning and we are just team Brooklyn in so I'm so excited to give our bed a little bit of a refresh and we are big fans of the Lux Hardcore bundle which is actually what I ordered for these new sheets for spring and also their linen bundle so um, those are my top two that I would recommend. If you guys are unfamiliar with Brooklinen, they are a luxury sheet company. And they create high quality home goods to elevate your home without breaking the bank. So you can have that nice luxury hotel feel like you're staying at a five star resort, but bring it to your home and have it be nice and cozy. I just love Brooklinen sheets because they have the best color options to choose from. Everything looks so good in your bedroom. I feel like they really do a great job coordinating colors and creating color palettes that you can really express yourself with, express your style with but also make your room cozy. You can just make it your own little sanctuary. And I just think Brooklinen does such a good job of that. So I love our stripes so much and Brooklinen just released new seasonal colors. Pick up the Lux Hardcore Sheet Set. This is in graphite and Oxford steel stripe. However, I did see baby blue on there and I really think I might have to pick that one up too. I feel like the baby blue would still flow really well with the color scheme that we have in our room. However, if you are single and not living with a man or if you just don't care, but I think Colin would not be all for it. They have the prettiest pink color available right now and I have a feeling it's going to sell out fast and their spring colors usually fly. So if you have been thinking about upgrading your bedding and giving your room a more spring refresh, definitely get on it because these colors are going to sell out. Along with the spring colors, they also have the neutral whites creams um, if you're just a neutral girly at heart. So they really have something for everybody. I always get my duvet cover in white as well as our pillows. I like to just jazz up the sheets underneath the duvet cover and have those kind of popping out. I feel like they did such a good job with the spring collection and it gives you that pop of color in a non-aggressive way. Also, Brooklyn and Sheets are tried and true. There's over 100,000 five-star reviews, which is more than any other online bedding company. So anyways, let me show you guys my bundle. I love the Lux Hardcore bundle and then I always bundle because you can end up saving 20% versus just buying all the items individually. So it comes with the core sheet set, which has a flat sheet, a fitted sheet, two pillowcases, and then you get extra pillowcases and also a duvet cover. So these sheets have a 480 thread count with a slightly luminous finish. Every time you wash the Brooklyn in sheets, they just get softer and softer. I honestly don't understand how it works, but it does. I also get the Lux Hardcore bundle just because it's perfect for year-round comfort and year-round temperature. We'll be throwing these in the wash so I can make the bed. But just wanted to remind you guys, because right now they are doing their sleep week sale as the most awarded brand in the bedding space. You guys can count on Brooklyn in to be your 
sleep expert. Any new sheets that are not only aesthetically pleasing, but sheets that are so cozy and will help you get that seven plus hour best sleep of your life. So for their sleep week sale, they are doing all items at 20% off until March 20th. And like I said, if you guys rely on Brooklinen for all your sleep needs like we do, then I would recommend getting the Lux Hardcore Bundle and that'll end up saving you guys up to 40% since it will stack those bundle savings with the discount for the sleep week sale. So you guys can click my link in the description box to shop the sale. And I also wanted to mention that if you're watching this video after the sale is already over, so after March 20th, then you guys can just use my discount code, which I will have in the description box. So you can just come back to this video and reference the description box, make it super easy for you guys. And you can just click the link, use the code, and that will get you guys some savings as well. So thank you so much to Brooklinen for sponsoring this video. I'm about to go wash my sheets, make my bed, and sleeping on new sheets is the best, so I'm very excited for our sleep tonight. Okay, you guys, here are the new sheets. Just this pop of stripe I love in our room, especially with the picture above, but it looks so good. Sleeping on it is the best, so I'm super excited about the new sheets and everything. I think our whole bed setup is very me and very cute, so we love it. Okay, guys, we're watching the Iowa Hawks game. It's, like, really close, but I'm gonna have to break to get in the shower. Sutton's taking a nap right now. We've just been playing and then started watching this game. Um, but for my workout outfit, I was just wearing my navy blue set active set with this Lulu top. Just wanted to show you really quick. I have so much to do today, but I have to get ready for this birthday party. We're going to have to be productive after the birthday party, which is fine. I'm just honestly haven't been the most productive today. I feel like after having such a crazy busy Friday and Saturday, I needed a minute to chill. But got to go get ready for the birthday party. Then need to come home and like reset the house for this week because Colin doesn't work from home tomorrow. I'm thinking maybe this shirt. I'm trying to pick up my outfit quick and then do my skincare and I'll just go do my makeup downstairs so I can watch the end of the game because it's already the fourth quarter. So it's like, I'll just do a little get dressed. In bed. By the way, wait, maybe I will not be wearing this. These were like pretty oversized and I think that they would be much cuter with shorts but i want to wear like red and black because it's strawberry themed so maybe i will be wearing my saison saison how do you say it saison sweater brought my makeup down here by the way this base makeup bag is the best so anyways i'm gonna do my makeup did my makeup i need to do my hair but i'm quickly getting together my rose birthday present i ended up getting her one of the sweaters that uh, my friend Elle makes so super cute there's like stickers in the I need to write on it really quick. Come here, I'm gonna get you! I'm gonna get you! It's her little Zara strawberry outfit. Like. The party um, is strawberry themed. So that's perfect. She just woke up. We got her ready super quick. We're about to run out of the door. Hold it. Let's, Let's go give it to on. Milo. Put hands on like this. Come on. We gotta go give it to Milo. Happy birthday, Milo. that you can come look through your goodie bag i've changed we're just all playing outside right now so i put on a sweat set it's like actually kind of chilly this morning was freezing it was like in the 40s go get him sis Sutton, say ready no 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 
Can you say please? Please, Dada. You want me to throw it? Son, you want Daddy to throw it? She said no. Son, you want me to throw the ball? I just came inside quickly to have a snack. Um, the apple wood smoked bacon and I accidentally just spilled the goat cheese like all over the table. But I'm just having a little pre-dinner snack. We're just doing the Costco lasagna for dinner. Just so it's simple and easy. Costco lasagna is pretty good. Like it's not like a Italian restaurant, but it's not bad. Morning. I'm freaking tired at this morning. I'm really tired. That was like real, 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 real rough for 6:35 in the morning. I gotta speed on home to try and get home before Colin leaves for work. I'm back home. Colin just left for work. I like caught him on the way out. Sutton is still sleeping. So I was just like car sitting for a second. But then I was like, I should try and take a shower before she wakes up. The time change has been making her sleep in. And I just let her sleep because you know how we struggle with naps. So I'm going to run in and attempt to get a shower in and see if it's possible. Alrighty guys, I actually had time to shower, do skincare, try and salvage my hair. I'm coming down to let Murphy in because he's barking. Good morning. Should I open up with the light in? Hi. Maybe put your socks on. Socks on. Whoops. Do you want to get some milk? I'm still in my put Greek yogurt on the side of my smoothie cup era. Anyway, so I have just a little bit of work to do this morning. Luckily, I have like fully edited my video for last night, so I don't have too too much to do with that. Because every video I do today, she's watching onward. I'm gonna drink my smoothie, sit, and I have to edit a video for Letty really quick, and then just make a couple more edits on my phone for something else for a brand, and then we should be good for a while. Okay, guys, we were just outside playing with chalk. This is so funny. Murphy's pause. <laughs> Murphy's paws are all pink. Oh, are you tired? <laughs> Murphy's gonna take a nap. Nap time, massive fail. You wanna go outside? Okay. Okay. Ready, set, go. <gasps> Give me a kiss. <clears throat> okay, let's go. I'm thinking we play outside for a little bit. I have to film a sponsored integration real quick. And then I'm thinking that we go to either Tuesdays or session stand, but it's been raining so much. I'm worried session stand's gonna be muddy. I have to film this integration really quick because I'm swapping which video is sponsored by which because I'm waiting for a product for one so I have to swap so I can get them all in so I can make money so I can keep doing this as my job so I think I'm just gonna leave the door open I usually hang out in this area anyway and film it real quick so if you see me wearing this outfit in the last video you watched it's because I quickly had to film something and you just get me in this cute little outfit more than once. I forgot how early Tuesday's closes. So we're not going there, maybe tomorrow. I keep trying to get them to come inside for a snack because I'm starving, so she's gotta be hungry. Hi. Come on, let's get a snack. Come on, do you want a treat? Murphy, do you want a treat? Come on, Murphy, let's go get a treat. Sutton, come on. Now we're doing lunch. I did turkey burger with cheddar cheese and arugula and balsamic glaze. I don't even know if it's gonna be good, but I'm just kind of like whipping things up. Colin's calling me. I'm about to make yogurt bites for her, by the way. Just put little dots of Greek yogurt on some parchment paper on a cookie sheet. I use a smaller cookie sheet though because our freezer isn't very big. And then you just put it in the freezer. Okay, guys, I had to just cut straight into dinner time because um, my camera died, so you were charging. I am making this recipe strictly off of, like, no, it's in my head. Last time I was at Trader Joe's, <laughs> last, <Juice. laughs> last time I was at Trader Joe's, I got this bruschetta sauce, and I was looking up on TikTok, like, how people use it, and you literally just pour it right into the noodles, and they're like, it's the easiest ever, so... I was like, cool. I had Colin make breaded chicken for an Italian chicken vibe. I have ricotta, I have Parmesan. The bruschetta sauce is amazing and it goes so well 
with spaghetti. Tastes really good. We've been taste testing, trying to figure out the best thing to do with the recipe that we are creating. Do you want a noodle? Okay. Our pots are messed up. We don't look at them, but here's the pasta with prosciutto sauce, and we're gonna plate everything up. Okay, guys, here's how it turned out. So we have the chicken breast, the pasta on the bottom, and then the zucchini with the tomatoes with ricotta on top. And I'm excited to see everyone's reaction because this just came straight from me brain. I know, that's what I mean. Everything. That's it? Just a thumbs up? Pretty good. Not groundbreaking? I'm kidding, it's really good. What the heck? It's good. It's not as good as Colin's chicken parm, but it's good. <laughs> what? <laughs> cool. <laughs> no. Routine post dinner snuggles before bed. Get your blanket on you. Wow, so sweet. I've seen like so many spoilers of The Bachelor just from TikTok, but I've also heard that this is like a really good season. So I decided to start watching it tonight, Fantasy Sweet Night, and I'll just watch Women Tell All and then I'll watch the finale. And that seems like a really ideal to me because everyone else is just going to spoil it on TikTok anyway. So I'm watching. I know what the spoilers say. However, after watching it, I really don't know who he's going to choose between Kelsey and Daisy. And I do know that this is the first episode I'm watching and I've like probably really missed out on a great season. I'm about to go shower and get ready for bed. But that's my opinion is I think he's got more chemistry with Daisy. TBH. I don't know. Actually, I just got back from F45. I give myself so much time in the morning when I'm going to solid core and Pilates, but F45, I'm always late. Probably because it's so close and I'm like normally feel rushed. Um, are you ready to eat then? You guys, we could potentially be having two dogs. Let me explain. We are a golden retriever family. My cousins have a golden retriever named Wrigley. My aunt and my uncle are coming to town this weekend. They're going to Florida and they're driving. I don't really know why they're driving, to be honest. Maybe because they were planning on bringing Wrigley, but they're driving nonetheless. They're stopping through Georgia to get to Florida. And I was like, we'll watch Wrigley. Please bring him. So, he's a little older than Murph, but we could potentially, if they decide to bring him, I'm still waiting on the update if she's going to do it or not, but we could be potentially having the experience of two dogs, and I'm so excited about it. But the whole time I was like, yes, bring him, I want him, I want Murphy to play with him, and I just think that it would be so fun, so, yeah, anyways. But the point of this is my family's coming this weekend and I'm like, okay, cool. We have to get the house ready for guests again. So that is going to be my focus today is starting the process of getting everything ready for guests. Guys, wildest thing. I love Murphy out like I usually do. And he starts sprinting and I'm like, what is he doing? There is a possum on the fence, walking across the fence. And thank God he went into the other yard, but possums can, I mean, they don't carry diseases. They're nasty things. I oh, everyone's saying two things can be true. I'm like, I don't want my dog around that thing and it's nasty, but it is also cute and I like want the best for it. You guys, it got down on the fence again. It's right here. You can see it now. Thank you. Okay, go get another one. <laughs> Give me this. All right, I'm putting the What We Said podcast on the TV and then starting with my to-do list. Go down to the playroom, get her bins for her little chest. And I'm transitioning all these little toys back down to the playroom. We'll keep the big toys up here, like the ladder and everything that she climbs but the toys are gonna go down there because it's getting warmer, we're gonna play down there more again. Like I always will be a little bit worried or you know, thinking of not stressed and I just, um, that's really it. 
I've been doing some prenatal yoga. We are making progress. Hi, can I please get a venti um, of the lavender oat milk latte, please? And then can I do a pup cup, please? Can I also do just a grande cup of almond milk? Thank you. Is it okay if I actually get a um, grande straw too? Like a smaller one? Thank you. Oh, thank you. I almost drove off without that. Thank you. You want some milk? Here, take a sip. I have some pre-nap milk. Here you go. Okay, yeah, the lavender iced oat milk latte. It is so good. Let's see the lavender on the bottom. You guys, I have successfully put Sutton to sleep in her crib. Don't know how long she's gonna last before she realizes I'm not holding her. But I have like, in my head, I'm like, okay, this face isn't gonna last forever. Like, she's gonna go back to taking naps. So lately, I've been trying, and if she doesn't, I just pick her up quick. Pray to God she falls back to sleep in my arms. Anyways, also, I'm going to try and shower really quick. Before I do, I'm wearing my Sedactive um, Form Cloud set today. I have fully gotten ready, and she's still sleeping, and I am shook to my core. Like, shook. All right, guys, she's awake. It's 3.40. And she literally slept so good. I am genuinely shook to my core. <laughs> I'm like, what? How did this happen? I'm so excited. Oh, wait, we'll just wear your Crocs. Yeah, we'll just wear your Crocs. Problem solved. Let's go. Yeah. I'm doing a lunch repeat of my turkey burger with balsamic and uh, arugula. Sutton's out there eating her lunch. I'm about to go join her, and then we're going to go outside. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, come on. I'm coming. Go. Thank you. Say let's go, Murph. Let's go. Say let's go, Murphy. Let's go. go, go, go. Her top's a little small. It's a bit of a crop top. Let's go, girl. Say everybody's home. Here, can I open it for you? Okay. 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 And why, after all this time, now they're gonna, now they're gonna shut it down? I don't know. I mean, talking about the. It's also a competitor against Instagram and other social media platforms, which that could also. You it's know. time to dance to a new beat. If TikTok gets banned, I think it'll actually be great. Yeah. For my mental health. Yeah. But I love TikTok. It just amazes me what they're focusing on based on what we've got going on in the world and they're worried about TikTok. I totally agree. Oh, I so am. I, I really, can't even. I want it to be canceled though. Or banned. I don't because I, that's Except my biggest you. platform. But it is super easy to just scroll for hours. So that's the only reason. It's super easy to what? Scroll it's for hours. It's extremely addictive. Oh, it's very addictive. Mm. What is it? I what it's called. Chicken and broccoli. Oh. When I was younger, this is what I always would order. Except I would order from China Cafe. Mm -hmm. Chicken and broccoli with no broccoli. So just chicken and rice. Oh. So I've really grown up. And that's how the lady knew that she would like know we, us by our order. Best China knew who we were because we always asked for chicken fried rice with extra chicken, extra egg, no vegetables. Good morning, you guys. It's the next day. I stopped vlogging last night because I just wasn't in the mood, to be honest. Um, but uh, I put Seth to bed because there's some like new Fortnite update or something. I don't know. Colin's favorite thing to do is play Fortnite with his friends, which I totally understand because it's like fun guy time, fun me time, and there is some new update or whatever. So that's his favorite way to hang out with his friends if they're not hanging out in person is on Fortnite with them. So anyways, I put set to bed last night and then put in my headphones and I was listening to the toast because I hadn't listened earlier. Hey, come on, let's go. Come on, get in here. By the way guys, this, the learning yeah. tower. No. Do you want me to just put you in it or do you want to climb? <laughs> the learning tower is so much better than just pulling up a chair, which we've always just pulled up a chair because I was like, okay, do we really need like a hundred dollar like wood tower to use? But it just is so much better. So anyways, we're going to make waffles this morning. 
and I'm loving the tower. That's all I have to say. And I think she likes it too, and it's just better and makes me feel more better about her being up in there. But anyway, was listening to the toast and then the rest of the what we said podcast from yesterday, and just went on a cleaning spree because we're gonna have like a little chatty portion of the vlog. But I just kind of feel like ever since we were like December, really. Four half cup mix. Oh wait. Oh, you're fine. I got you. Hey, hi. Ever since we were like traveling and like go, 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 go. I just feel like since December, I don't know. I just feel like even the beginning of this year was just so busy. And I feel like we have just completely neglected our like routine of cleaning. And we just like will let it, everything build up and then do just like one deep clean day. And then just be like, okay, well, we clean. So we'll just pick up here and there. But like, you see what I'm saying? Until there's one deep clean day. Where's my fourth cup? Like, I just want to, first of all, go through this drawer because it's a hot mess. But I just want to, where's the fourth cup? I'm losing it. Um, get back to, like, a routine of doing, like, one thing. Not one thing, but doing a little bit every single day. And then doing the whole, uh, like, closing house shift where we pick up before we go to bed. And I think that... It's just like, honestly, having a two-year-old is so fun. Fun age, but so chaotic. <laughs> but so fun. Bless you! I cannot find the fourth cup. Yeah, I just feel like all day long we're so go, go, go. No. And then by the no, end of the day, no. I am losing my mind. Where no, did it go? No. Oh, here you go. Maybe it's, maybe it's in here on accident. But anyways, so we're so like go, go, go all day long. And then by the end of the day, I'm just so tired. And then I'm like, oh, the last thing I'm going to do is clean and pick up for it to just get messy again tomorrow. But I'm like, okay, over that mindset. And I also think that, um, I don't know. Not that I'm like in charge because I'm not, but no one's going to like, like Colin's not, he's just not the type to be like, I'm going to sit here and clean this if I don't say to do so. You know what I mean? Not like I'm telling him what to do, but I like create the cleaning schedule and he just goes by what I say, which is like nice. But that's like what he wants me to do is just create the schedule. So anyways, I just haven't really been on top of it. And I was like last night, well, I mean, besides the fact that he was playing video games with his friends, but okay, we need half a cup of mix. I was like, Colin, we have got to get back into the routine of, wait here, do you want to pour it in? Can we pour it in? Um, pour it in here. Okay. Here, can you help me? Help me. Yeah. Help. Okay, ready? Oh. Good job. Besides the fact of like him playing video games last night, I was like, Colin, we have got to get back into the routine of doing the like house reset at night. Um, obviously, like I'm home all day, so I clean a little bit during the day and like get like the actual cleaning part done. But he helps me like pick up at night before we go to bed. And he was like, yeah, totally agree, totally down for that. So I was like, cool, feeling better about that. Okay, I think that's good. That's not, we need a little more. Can you help me do a little more? Oh, goodness. Okay, you can put it in. Okay, put it in the bowl. Good job. Um, anyway. And like, he works all day, I'm here all day. You know, at night I know it's like more fun to just decompress and relax. It's, that's basically what we've been doing, but I'm just kind of like, we're both over it. And then at the end of the day, you literally have to do more work when you're doing like this one massive clean day versus just keeping up with it. So maybe that lifestyle change, I feel like we'll all just be a lot happier if we do that. And then, hold on, let me fill this up with water. Okay, here you go. Here here, put this in too. Can you put it in? Oh, good job. Okay, now we gotta mix. We'll just use this. Thank you. Are you all done? Put it on here. Here, can you mix it? Stir. Oh, I gotta go get your dog. 
Anyway, so we had that conversation of just like, okay, we've totally gotten out of our routine. And it is different because like my mom does live with us and then like, you know, delegating duties, boundaries, stuff like that. And I was like, guys, we have got to step it up. I know we're all exhausted by the end of the day, but like we just all got it. If we all, also there's three of us. If we all do it together, we can get it done literally so quick. Say, stir. Stir. Let me go get her. Anyway, so I just had like a breaking point last night where I was like, okay, first of all, I've been like barely reading and just scrolling. And whenever I do that, I feel like, my, oh, sorry, here you go. I feel like my mental health just starts to slowly decline. So I'm like, that's not good. I'm changing that. I'm still on my morning workout routine. I went and took a Pilates class this morning and it was great. Okay, um, and then came back, obviously got her up, and now we're making breakfast, so. Anyway, just chatting, because I feel like last night was just like one of those nights where I was like, I was like, I just feel like these past three months, I just like have been in a slump, kind of. Like the winter uglies, but mentally. And um, I was just like sitting back and like, what do I want to do? change because you can sit there and you can complain or you can sit there and like make changes and I'm like mommy made a mess <laughs> anyways you can sit there oh hot you can sit there and you can complain or you can sit there and evaluate your life speak hard truths and make changes which I am like ready to do <laughs> so anyway that was like one thing just like keeping everything in order because we pretty much have something going on like every single weekend for the next like three months and i'm such a homebody so that kind of stresses me out that just is calling out because we're just homebody type of people so it's like we really need to like get our schedule down get everything together and then also i um told myself i'm going through my closet finally listing everything on poshmark because Listing on Poshmark stresses me out sometimes because of like it's just really time consuming. But I was like, okay, I need to declutter my closet because I get sent a lot of stuff. I get sent a lot of clothes and I'm very, very grateful. But some stuff sends in like the wrong size and then I like wear it once and I never end up wearing it again because I don't like the fit of it. And if I'm like selling something I got sent for free, I'm just gonna like charge for the shipping and like list it as like whatever it would cost to get it to ship to you guys, unless I bought it, then I would like list it for full price. Just clearing that up. But I just feel like I get sent a ton of stuff. And I just have so much like clutter in my closet and I have like a product bin because anytime my like family comes or friends then I let them like go through it and stuff. But I just need to declutter truly. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so that's on my list of like things that I want to do because I feel like I'm literally running out of room. And also, this is like so niche funny, but Colin, we have really small closets. And Colin's closet is downstairs. He takes his clothes off, like, upstairs. And I'm like, dude, I've literally, literally given you a laundry basket. And I, he just doesn't use it. So now I'm like, if you're not going to use it, maybe I just need to put the laundry basket where you always put your clothes. So I'm going to do that today. Because <laughs> I'm like, that has to work, right? I mean, our, I like our lifestyle and, like, the life that we live. I'm just saying there's just, like, little changes that we can make to make everything go smoother in our house, especially with all of us living here. And I'm, like, getting organized and making a list, making a chart, running, running our household. One thing that Colin and I have so, so slapped off on is grocery shopping, like, for the week instead of just, like, coming up with what we want to eat that day and then him, like stopping at the grocery store on the way home to get the food and then us cooking dinner. Like, we used to be so good about planning our meals out and then going grocery shopping that week and then getting um, groceries and then that way like we're 
more prepared for dinner time and then lately it's just been like okay what should we make for dinner tonight and it's like way more of a hassle so I definitely want to get back to <laughs> girl that's nasty what are you doing when life gets so busy you're just like trying to do whatever's easiest I don't know but anyways we just were like we need to get back to that it's just like we got out of our routine for quite some time and now I'm like okay let's get back into it and I do feel like I if like we get out of it the only, like I'm the one who initiates getting back into it. Oh, Colin's so go with the flow that he goes with the flow until I switch up the flow. So I'm switching up the flow is what I'm saying. I think that the routine that we were in just like wasn't set in, you're gonna lick it and it's not even gonna be good. The routine that we were in just like wasn't serving any of us well. And now I'm like, let's make a change. Let's make a switch. But I essentially just had one of those nights where I put my headphones in, gave myself a pep talk. This morning I woke up feeling so inspired. So much better. Mom and I were talking last night too about how we've officially been in Georgia for a year and we were just, you know, chatting and we kind of just both feel like Georgia's great, but we don't really think it's like our where we want to like stay for long term. Just giving an update, like I think Georgia's great and like I like the people that are here and I think that the people here are very nice. Um, but I just, like, I think that the city's too big for us. Like, seriously. Um, I think that we thrived in a smaller city. Just was talking to him and he was, like, kind of agreeing that we don't know if we, like, love Georgia. And I, yeah, that's just, like, my thoughts. Like, I'm like, well, there could be more out there for us. So we're not moving or anything anytime soon. But I was just saying that. Like, after reflecting of, like, living in Georgia for a year, I, there's a lot of people here, too. I mean, a lot of nice people, for sure, but I don't know. I just kind of, like, know it, I know it takes three years for a place to, like, feel like you're home. And I think you guys can probably tell that I just don't love it here. Like, I just don't feel like this is where I want her to grow up. There's just, like pluses and minuses about everywhere that you live but we're young and like we can experience more before like she's only two we've got time before she goes to elementary school i don't think she'll really mind bopping around like preschools or whatever when she does that but anyway we have that talk too so sometimes you just need to like sit down and have a re life reevaluation. and i feel like people you know think to do that at the start of the new year however the start of the new year is also so busy and i just like was so all over the place with being busy that I just like didn't have time to sit down and like really evaluate anything and now I feel like I did and now I'm planning on starting my year April 1st <laughs> maybe not because that's April Fool's Day Wait, okay hey are you ready to eat do you want to take your friends over to eat um I always make her breakfast before I do my morning routine so after this I'm gonna do my green and stuff and I also wanted to say that the colostrum like the armor colostrum I have only been taking it for a couple weeks and I am not kidding I've already seen a difference as terms of like my stomach and like how it feels when I eat and like bloating and stuff and like gas I already see a difference and I am dead serious it has to be from this because that's the only thing that I've added that I felt to change and I've had this going on for like a couple months and I feel like this week I really noticed a difference. So, just saying that I will be repurchasing that for sure. Okay, guys, I just imported this footage really quick um, so I can, you know, evaluate the situation. And this video is actually already kind of long. So, I'm going to end off the vlog here. But don't forget to check out Brooklyn and its Sleep Week sale. It will be in the description box. And then I'll put my code in there as well for you guys. We just have plans to play outside today and just have more of a chill day. So, I'm going to end the vlog. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and thank you so much for watching. You want your shoes to go outside? Okay. And I will see you guys in the next video.